Nandalada sa king mata Ang ang pinaka Maganda Nandalada sa king Hello! West Alameda! It's after six o'clock. Time to give a shout out. Thank you to all the front line, the essential workers, to the doctors, the nurses, the longshoremen, the bus drivers, the truck drivers, the farm workers, those who work in the stores, the restaurants, the hotels. Sanitation workers, postal employees, counselors, teachers, parents. So please, if you hear my voice, would you clap your hands, honk your horns, shout, make some noise. Frontline workers, we thank you. Thank you for all you do. Yeah, front line. All right, thank you. I'll see you over there. Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Uh, so I'm back. Yesterday was a trip to say the least. It was a trip. It was a trip to say the least. I'll go into a little bit of details on it. But uh get started on this. It's a late start. Very late start. Seems like I'm almost going back to 7 o'clock. <laughs> I went from 7 to 6, and now it looks like I'm end up going back towards 7. But I don't know. I'm doing what I can do. That's all I can do. Um, let me turn the camera around, get me off, get off my ugly face here. Okay, here we go. Let's see who's on here. Hey, Ann, what's up? How you doing? Roshan, what's up with you? Cynthia, hey, baby, how you doing? Good to see all of you. Okay, so, um, let me see. Turn this thing around. Did I turn around? Turn around. Okay, here we go. So today is September the 5th. It is day 523. Yes, 523 days since I've been doing this uh, shout out. <laughs> and as of today, we've had 4,586,155 people who have died from coronavirus all over the world. 666,219 right here in the United States and 34,234 in the Philippines. Now we switch over and this is not yesterday. This is September the 3rd. Okay. Um, September the 3rd because yesterday I was on my little trip in Vegas. So I didn't have my board. I didn't have the statistics and all that stuff, so this is what it was on September the 3rd. So you can see, you know, what has happened in a period of two days in terms of how many people have died from coronavirus. And then we go to the green on April the 9th, 2020, it was 96,000 people dead uh, all over the world, 16,200 in the United States. Mm -hmm. And in the Philippines, 203. Um, so let me get on this and let's do birthday and anniversary. So September the 5th, 2001. I want to say happy birthday to Robin, Christina, Lucretia, Kimberly, Marcel, Gabby. <coughs> Excuse me, I got something stuck in my throat. Um, and to Norman, a happy birthday to all of you. 
So also, um, Rosemary Foster is wants to give a shout out to. She wants to give a shout out to. Uh, hold on, got to read my handwriting. <laughs> She wants to give a shout out, a happy anniversary shout out to Vincent and Barbell Trehan. Okay, so happy, happy anniversary to both of you. Okay, and JC Lysenfeld wants to give a shout out and thank you to his Facebook friends and family for their prayers and support for his wife Charlene, who is currently in the hospital. And, um, you know, she's doing better. So, you know, and he just wants to say how much he appreciates all of you for, you know, how much he appreciates all of you for sending out prayers for his wife, Charlene. He says that she's doing better. So keep those prayers coming up. Keep the prayers coming up. And just the prayers and thoughts, I want to say, I want to uh, give a little shout out for my mother right here. Uh, Lola Conte. That's my mom, y'all. So she was born on August the 9th, 1928. And she passed away on September the 4th, 1996. It was my intention to talk about this yesterday. But because of my trip, my overnight trip <laughs> to Vegas, I, I didn't do it. So... I apologize, but I do want to, you know, um, Lola Conte, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk about her a little bit too. So, um, but yeah, anyway, um, it's the anniversary, a day late of my mom passing away and I don't have anything on the Bahala now, but I am going to talk about my little trip to Vegas and everything else. But look here. Alma, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Thank you. Uh, the Retirees Breakfast Club, y'all, it's coming up. Damn. It's coming up on Wednesday. Three more days. So it will be at the Buttercup. The Buttercup is located at 1000 Cotton Street in Oakland. This will be held uh, at Wednesday, September the 8th, 2021 at 9.30 a.m. Buttercup is located right off of 880 at the 23rd Avenue exit. So if you're not doing anything, come on through. Cruz, what's up with you, bro? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Um, also, vote no on the recall. If you haven't voted already, vote no on the recall of Governor Newsom. And I I saw something on Facebook that said Mia Bonta uh, had all the votes for the assembly. So congratulations ahead of time for the actual thing. So, okay. Um, let me talk about, let me fix my camera. Uh-oh, what did I do? Okay. All right, <clears throat> so let me talk about this. Uh, there's a thing that said the, less, the best laid plans of mice and men can go astray. Let me drink some water on that. <sighs> okay, so... I believe that opinions are based on experiences in life. Okay, so um, we had made plans. <laughs> we had made plans to go to Reno for the barbecue kickoff, whatever, right? Reservation. Time to wrap it up, y'all. It's 7 o'clock p.m. So we made reservations and everything, and something happened where <laughs> we end up 
not being able to go cancel reservations, which meant we had to cancel our... Uh, anyway. When you make plans to do something, just go on and do it. Don't let nobody, don't let nothing, whatever, will behoove a person to <laughs> change your plans. Don't do it. Don't do it. Anyway, so the plans got changed. <clears throat> I don't want to go into the reasons why because it's like <laughs> it, it ain't even cool, so I don't <laughs> go there. But uh, anyway, plans got changed, and so instead of going to the Mike Epps concert in Las Vegas from Reno to Vegas and then back from Vegas to Reno, um, my granddaughter was calling me. I can't talk to her right now. Um, we had to make new reservations. <laughs> The new reservations meant that we would leave from Oakland Airport at 5 o'clock. That was going to give us plenty of time to get to the concert because the concert was at 8.30. So then plane got delayed till 6.30. We didn't get into Las Vegas till 7.30. And there was a long line at the reservation desk to get the car <laughs> yeah we, we 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 made it there we made it there but i guess the whole reason i'm telling you all of this don't let nobody don't let nothing change what it is you've already decided to do okay because when you do that your reason for doing it might have been cool at the time, but then when you end up doing all these other things, you end up like the worst scenario is like the plane ride coming back. <laughs> the only one we could get to come back. So now remember now, all, all our reservations from before, everything was cool, right on point. Okay? Right on point. But coming back, we couldn't get the same kind of reservations coming back, so we ended up having to go to the airport like at 6 o'clock in the morning, which means we had to turn in the car like 4.30 in the morning. And then, we, and then the plane didn't even take us back to Oakland. It took us to L.A. And you know I hate L.A. I mean, you know, it's not like yeah, we were... We were in L.A. airport, but, you know, I, I hate being in L.A. because it's a small town city and it's the the Lakers and the Dodgers and and what used to be the Rams. And, you know, but anyway, um, besides all that, I guess the only good thing happened was that when we got off the plane, we got off at gate 12 and we didn't have to go all the way to gate 99 to go catch our next flight because we were right there at gate 11 to come back. Uh, plane didn't get delayed, but you know, he came home and went to sleep. <laughs> uh, needless to say, I kind of stayed up all night last night because I wanted to make sure that I would make that plane at six o'clock. But anyway, so much for that. Don't do it. Don't do it. When you have made up your mind to do something, do not let anybody, do not let anything change you from what your original plan was. Because my original plan, we we could have did it. We could have did it. Okay? So, and the Mike Epps show was good. But, you know, hey, um... The best thing is, the best thing out of that whole experience is that when you are with somebody who you really care about and somebody who cares about you and, and you mad as hell, and you mad as hell, it then it's like instead of being mad, you, you, you are able to have the ability to laugh it off. I mean, what else can you do? Because I'm like, man, I'm like, you know, hey, 
But holler not. It is what it is. Okay? So, when you get with somebody who can calm you down, take a deep breath, behoove yourself to be uh, nice. I didn't want to be. I didn't want to be. I was hella mad because I shouldn't have changed my damn plans in the first damn minute. Oh, sorry. Anyway, it's all good. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. So, <clears throat> like I said, yesterday was my mother's um, transition, you know, um, where she made that journey uh, back in 1996. And I don't know if I've told you guys, but okay, so my mother is known as Lola Conchin. Lola means grandmother. Hey, Vincent, what's up? Uh, I'm sorry. Vernon, what's up? I had to look at my glasses. Good. Um, so my mother was the sister of Generoso Lopez and also the sister of Rosario Lopez. And her father was Sebastian Lopez. So she had one brother and one sister. And... After my mother married my father and came to the United States, um, we didn't know where our people was. We the, the contact was, was lost, okay? Part of it was due to the fact that my grandfather disowned my mother because of the fact she married a black man. You know, bahala na, that is what it is. But the children of Generoso Lopez and the children of Lola Rosario they reached out through Facebook. So this is a good thing about Facebook. Through Facebook, and and they found us. Well, you know, because I'd be on Facebook all the time. So, And when I was doing my Facebook, I showed a picture. I was doing this thing called Aco Barrio. But also, whenever I'm doing my Facebook, I normally sometimes will show the picture of my mother right there, Lola Conching. Okay, and so one day I ended up getting a call and or getting a message, uh, a messenger like, you know, hey, I'm I'm Mark Lopez. I am the son of Alberto Lopez, who was your first cousin, who was the <laughs> the son of uh, Generoso Lopez, <laughs> your 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 mother's brother. I was like, whoa. So anyway. So from all of that, we have now been talking to each other through Zoom and Messenger. There's a whole lot of Lopez's over there. And there's a whole bunch of us Dixons and Murphys and, um, you know, Bellingsleys and, and <coughs> Lawrence and Dozier or whatever. But there's a whole bunch of us over here, too, either through blood or by marriage. But... Um, so now we got this thing, and it's like, it's so cool. I have a grandson, um, Del Rico, who lives in Germany, and he is on this um, on this thing where, you know, the family is, is meeting and greeting each other, you know. And so my grandson has um, two of my great-grandchildren in Germany also. So my grandson was posting pictures of him and his um, his children over there. I had another grandson down in um, Southern California. You know, he reached out and was like, "Hey, you know, I just wanted to meet with you guys and talk to you." You know, I'm, I'm, you know, and it was good. And I have my daughter is out there in Ireland. Um, you know, I have my son Taz. He's out there in in uh, New Orleans. You know, in Georgia. You know, he he travels a lot, so he's always different places. Um, and it's good. It's good. I'm learning a lot of new words. <clears throat> All the Filipino words that I have learned in 72 years have been Tagalog. Okay, I'm I'm not fluent. No, let's let's not get it. Let's not get it twisted. I'm not fluent in any kind of way, shape, or form. I can say, "Hey, kumusta ka na? Magandang umaga po. Uh, San Kapupunta, San Angbanyo, you know, I can do all that. Pahala na, you know. Bukas na muli tayo, makikita, paalam na sayo. I can do all that. But now, 
my relatives are like, <laughs> uncle, we are what I, we speak what I, and you know, we're Messiah. So now I gotta learn all kinds of different words. And I was like, man, I just barely learned Tagalog. But anyway, hey, it, it's good. I guess I'm trying to say all that is to say that family is so important. And when you, when you grow up not having your family, I grew up it was just me and my brother and my sisters and my mother. <clears throat> I didn't know uh, when my mom and dad got divorced, I didn't know anything about my, my dad's people. You know, on the black side, I didn't know none of you know. I didn't know none of my cousins. I didn't know none of my uncles and my aunties. On on you know, on my father's side, we, it was just one of those things where we, I just didn't know them. So I grew up not having uncles and aunties and cousins, and I didn't. Damn sure didn't know nothing about my Filipino cousins and uncles and aunties because the whole thing of uh, my grandfather just sold and my mother, but now. I get to see, it's so great. I get to see my children, the grandchildren and the descendants of Lola Conching, my mother, interacting and talking with the mm -hmm. children and the grandchildren or the grandchildren and the descendants of Lolo Generoso and Lola Rosario. It, it, it's, it's great. I just love that. And um, as I'm the oldest... Um, Mel Dixon on this side of the water that makes me the, the patriarch okay and I just love seeing if my mother was alive Lola Kunching was alive she would have been so happy and and I I, I believe that my mom was up there in, in heaven with all all the rest of um, the ancestors and all the rest of those who have passed who made that journey and gone you know gone to heaven um, but she's up there and she's really happy because we get, we have this thing where we talk to each other, the Kimming Lopez Dixon family. So Kimming is my mother's, was my grandmother's name. Kimming is a Chinese name because, you know, we got Chinese in us. Hey, got that Chinese blood in us. But, um, so it, it's, it's a combination. <coughs> It's a combination of, you know, hands across the water, you know, and, and all of that. Well, it's good. So I love watching and listening. Like when we do the Zoom with the family members and we get to see um, family members and they're talking to each other or they send messages to each other. It's, it's great. For me, I love it. I love it because remember, I grew up not having cousins. I grew up not having uncles and aunties. Well, I didn't know anything about them, so I didn't have. I grew up not having all that. My children, they grew up having cousins. They grew up having uncles and aunties. You know, they they knew, they knew. That some of my children even knew my mother, so they they called her Lola. Lola means grandmother. So some of my children remember her. Um, none of the grandchildren do, but now they have that connection. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. It's basically just saying um, family is very important. And when you get a chance, call somebody in your family and just say, hey, I love you. Um, I'm thinking about you and whatever the case may be. And um, yeah, so I, it's that time. You know, that, that thing about uh, it's time to wrap it up. I got to wrap it up. I've already been told by the little the little song there, wrap it up. It's time to wrap it up. So, Bahala na, mabuhay, aman la away tu, harambe, ashe, hokahe, jayu, mahalo, shalom, namaste, assalamu alaikum. Uh, Wakanda forever, get vaccinated if that's what you want to do, and if you don't, then wear a mask, because if, uh, you know, I get told, stop talking about that, but there's the, the reason why I think people should wear masks. I want you to remember the story of 
the man that was standing on the corner. He didn't have no pants on. And another man walked by, and he didn't have no pants on, and he peed on the man. So the next day, the man that got peed on, he wore pants. And that same dude came by and peed on him again. Well, he did have pants, but he still got peed on. The next day, the man was wearing his pants, and the other dude that peed on him, he was wearing pants, and he peed again. But this time, he didn't pee on the guy with the uh, that he got peed on two days in a row because when he peed, he peed on himself. So basically, that's why you should wear a mask. If you wear a mask, you can't pee on nobody. I wish the hell you would pee on me. I mean, like, real pee, not no no mask analogy, uh, analogy you know, whatever that word is. <laughs> hey, I'm out of here, y'all. Uh, I'm not going to do two for Tupac because... I don't know. I, I did a lot of talking today, so I'm going to leave that alone. Everybody stay safe, stay strong, uh, wear a mask, don't pee on nobody. Love y'all. Peace.